Welcome to the bold analysis. Tanariba Governor Godana Dado is demolishing President um, William Ruto's um, latest appointments and governance. And in a video that has gone viral, the governor is making it outright that president is getting it wrong. He's getting it wrong in the sense that it cannot be, or rather the perception and the understanding that president is favoring people from his backyard is against the spirit of nationalism and the principle of equity. This has been said for quite so long, but the governor is uh, making it very clear that we are soon coming with a bit of a perception and understanding that unless my person is in power, I am not in it. I am inconsequential. So in a heated video that has gone viral, this is what the Tana River governor is saying. I wanted to listen to that video. Then we come back. We shall try to break it down. Yani kwanza tukubali ya kwamba katiba ya Kenya imeidhinisha kwamba kuwe na vyama vingi. Sasa whether somebody is in which party and which party. The purpose of parties is for the purposes of the game. You begin in the assembly. You begin at national. It is not, not for the purpose of exclusivity. It is not the purpose. It is not the purpose. Sababu ya vyama si kwa sababu ya kubagua inchi. Endo mwambie raisi. Mwambie raisi. Tunataka awe tofauti. We want him to think like us, young generation. Isiwe kwamba kukaa kwake pale ni kuendeleza Rift Valley. Wengine wafaidi from Rift Valley. Isiwe ya kwamba atimutu akweka kwa wizara amewekwa kwa sababu ya kwao. Wengine wafaidika kutoka kwao. Aa, huo ni ushamu. Huo ni ushamu. Kenya needs to grow as one country, irrespective of party. That is the essence of the constitution. Mimi nimekuwa hapa mbunge. Nimekuwa governor tamu ya kwanza. Nimekuwa governor tamu ya pili. Sijabagua sehemu ya yote ya tana. Hata wale hawajai ni pigia kura. Sijawai. Sana rivo mzima Hakuna mahali maendeleo sijasambazi Because I think differently I don't think about Nura I don't think about Pokoma I think about Tana Nama Mimi ndoto yangu tu ni kwamba wakati Muna ni Wacha ni semi hati Wakati mimi natoka Tuyache Tana United and prosperous. That's the only thing. That's the only thing. Sio kubagua. Sijui sio mwili sio mwili sana. Ah ah. Siko hapo. Because I feel different. And if it takes ya kwamba demo za watu wengine kuendelea mpaka wale maraisi, afadhali hata sisi tusimame. Oh. Rais. Hata sisi afadhali tusimame. Tupate, tukose, lakini afadhali Tusimama Afadhali tusimama Afadhali tusimama chanasu Mana wani uzi niti yamu Mwishuwa mraishi, mshashauru wa raisi Umesema Tukunye utuambie kama tunataka kwenye Tupele keleo hii zisi 
Lakini nataka ni kuambie tushaenda kwa Ruto sisi Sisi tulienda kwa kibatu Sisi tulienda kwa uhuru Tulienda kwa raila Na tukaenda kwa Ruto Haudu maraisi wangapi Hao ni maraisi wangapi? Nakwambia mimi nilianza nilikuwa mbunge kabla ya mbunge nilikuwa jeshini. Na nilikuwa jeshini Kuindo alikuwa head of public service. Tulienda kwa Moses. Huyo Said Ibai akiwa post. Sisi ndio tulikuwa washauri wa Tolakofi. Na tulienda kwa Moi mara kadhaa. Sisi Sisi alikuwa anatutumia kwamba lazima tupigie kanu kura. Akina Kuindo, akina Wellington Godo, akina Soba nani? Tufanye kampeni ya kupigia kanu kwa sababu kanu ni baba, kanu ndio mama. Leo nyinyi mwataka tupigie, yani tukae sisi UDA ndio baba, UDA ndio mama. Ah ah, I have a connection. Ah ah no. Because the law says that we exist in parties. I don't know what you take of it. I want to look at that narrative and it is a seed that William Ruto himself has planted. He has planted that seed of winner takes all. He has planted that seed that unless you are a member of UDA, you are not in it. The other day someone was making fun that unless you are a member of UDA, you are not in it. Unless you, you know, someone was just making a joke around it. That um, unless you are someone who makes, uh, at least we, we can now go that now you walked into a shopping mall and as if you need to use the UDA membership card to do shopping. Or now that the price of uh, the cost of fuel is high, you can just fuel your car using the UDA membership card. This is a narrative that is coming and is very dangerous. The narrative that William Ruto has concentrated power amongst people around him and it's only President's backyard that is benefiting. I want to look at it in the context of what uh, the Tana River governor is saying, but just allow me to take a minute again and um, reach out to you a special way, in a special way about this lady you're seeing here. This lady, for those who are not for the first time, uh, she's called Sarah. So we fundraised for her here in this channel last year to offset a medical bill of 1.3 million. And she was off the hospital because she had been uh, suffering. Uh, she was uh, diagnosed with, um, I think it was grade, uh, it was stage, f stage three, if I'm not wrong, about acute with acute leukemia, cancer. Unfortunately, she battled uh, cancer for the one year, but we lost her last week on 26th June. We're running um, this 100, book, 100 book challenge to support um, the family of that girl. She has left behind a child. We are also looking into that. And so what we'll do is to help offset a bill and also the last expense. As the bold, I was targeting at least 150 will help in a big way. And I believe that uh, if you do a 100 bob challenge, we'll be positioned to achieve that probably in the next, because it's going to be better on 15th. So we'll finish this fundraiser next week on Wednesday night. So we have, I think, like seven days. And that's why I pinned my number there. And thank you. I want us to go back to that video. Um, he's saying it is not about UDA. Number one. It's not about being a member of UDA, number one. Number two. If it is about being president of your party, then all of us should go and vie. Is it practical for all of us to go and vie? No. But it's making a lot of sense. This narrative 
is gaining momentum and it should worry Ruto that other parts of the country, now that it is being raised from an, like someone from the coast, you know, when this is said by the political leaders, the Rai Lodinga, and maybe these leaders, the, the leaders in the mainstream, it is mostly rubbished and, you know, disregarded as just dismissed as, you know, that is just the usual political rhetoric. But a region like coast is very fragile, is very perishable, if you ask me, politically perishable. And uh, being that it's a region that has predominantly been an ODM zone, or rather, let's say, uh, clinging towards the opposition for quite so long, and of course, it's rooted due to historical injustice that have been going on in the coast. This narrative is very sensitive, and it has the potential of dismantling the Kalenjin Kikuyu matrix, which is the latest playbook of Rigadi Geshagwa and the likes. It's still there, so those who have believed. And when I get Kikuyu and Kalenjin, I am sorted. But someone is saying, if you look at those appointments, you know, it's coming out clearly. And for, I don't know what the meaning of Tugege, uh, someone should explain to me what is Tugege. I saw, I see a lot of, uh, some uh, Kikuyu friends uh, calling, saying some Tugege, Tugege. I don't know what is Tugege. Someone should <laughs> make me understand what is Tugege. So, um, that aspect of uh, Kikuyu Kalenjin being held together as the political playbook that will gonna rotate the leadership on how the leadership of the country will rotate, it's creating, it's, it has the potential of creating one versus all. One against all. That's it. It has that potential. And now that is why, that is what gave Kibaki Nightmare in 2007. Ask someone, uh, you realize that uh, Kibaki Nightmare was because of 1 versus 41. Um, the democratization of the parties, or rather the UDA penetration, is highly... Um, affected because especially in the in, in the Tana River because he's saying that what is being believed you know there is this perception that unless if you want to get you must be in UDA but people are saying if that is it then it seems we are not yielding the fruits of what we fought for multi-party democracy and uh, that statement from um, Godana Dado uh, Godana Dado yes got the pronunciation right is a clear signal that people feel that the democratic space is shrinking because of over unification <laughs> of the country. You know, everyone is, you want to think either it's UDA, if you're not UDA, you cannot get. The other day, SG Malala was saying, for you, I don't know, to get appointments, for you to get this job, you need to be in UDA first. You know, but uh, the fellows who crossed over to UDA, like, uh, uh, Kidero are now crying, begging the courts to give them the jobs. Lastly, it is a clear signal that narrative has the potential of um, um, complicating, or rather, killing completely Ruto's coastal fortunes. What he's saying is a governor in Tana River, but if he was to make that speech in Mombasa, people are going to listen to him. Same to when he makes that, Kilifi, that, that speech in Kilifi or Taita Taveta. It still tells you that um, it will be difficult to consolidate with the current spree of Kalenjination, Kalenjinization of government. It's something that is emerging. And I think within no time, uh, with, after some time, President Ruto might actually consider um, really looking into that matter. Thank you. And let's meet in the next.